Yep. Scram Kitty DX for the PS4 and the Vita. Yes, it does cross save for you ask. Um, I played Scram Kitty for the Wii U late last year and I enjoyed it. It's an on rails action platformer shooter. Yeah, that, that, let's stick with that. So, uh, you want to, the object is to collect all the cats in the level, or as many as possible. There's a base number you need to collect, and then it goes on from there. Uh, many of the enemies are rodents, like mice and rats and things like that. And this is where the shooter elements come in, as you can see. And eliminating them opens barriers, and uh, amongst other things I'll, I'll, I'll get into in a moment. One thing you need to learn is the trick jump, uh, which is not hard. You basically just jump up. You leave the rail, and then you think you tap the jump button again, and uh, you begin to spin, and that spin causes like fire to go around you and stuff. And you can actually destroy parts of the environment with that, and you can also jump higher and pick up health and things like that. So some of the rails actually uh, will propel you left or right. So you have to be careful of those. Some of the rails will lead you right into spikes. But the levels are pretty expansive. This is sort of the beginning of the game. I did do a review for the Wii U version, which I'll link to right now. You can click on that and watch that if you wish for more in-depth uh, review. But I just wanted to show the PS4 version for anybody who's, well, who's curious what the PS4 version looked like and played like. The game is a lot of fun. It's different because it, it has platforming elements, shooter elements, on rail. It's the full name is, I think, Scram Kitty and his pals on rails or something like that. But I think for the PS4, they just called it scram kitty dx so the deluxe edition or whatever you want, or whatever you want to call it it's a fun game um you start off with one weapon as you progress if you look in the upper left you can see there are other weapons that you can unlock uh, and the object of the game is to like i said earlier is to basically just get the cats and you can get them through any number of ways uh collecting those little yellow orbs maybe you get like uh, levels have a hundred of them and a cat unlocks uh, when you get those, when you get a hundred, you unlock a cat and you can proceed. And I believe those cats, when, once you get a hundred, they unlock and they move right over to the exit. So once the cats are in there, you see a cat right there in the exit. I probably just found that one shooting enemies or sometimes they're just, just there. These are the cats that give me the most trouble. The timed cats. Because you see at the bottom of the screen, there's a meter that's, that's depleting. You have to maneuver through the level and basically come in contact with the cat I think a couple of times it'll move around so it's not just once you have to come in contact with it it'll bounce around somewhere else you have to go quickly and move over there and depending on how you know uh, how well you perform at the maneuvering it can get pretty challenging uh, to, to be fair but that's what games are for I mean I guess it was if there was a win button why would we bother to play it but that you know I did find it frustrating at the beginning but once I got better with maneuvering I was completely fine with it. So, yes, that is Scram Kitty. Um, if you like this review, want to see others, many others that uh, that, that I've done. I'm Aaron from Game of Thieves. I never said that. Uh, you can check out GameOfThieves.com where uh, there are written reviews. Uh, they're not very long. Um, they're brief uh, write-ups for the reviews. I don't put those on YouTube. Go to the site to see those. This podcast there is a wonderful podcast. A lot of different guests, a lot of fun, yada, yada, yada. Um, two reviews I did. Might be interested in Castle in the Darkness uh, for the PC, which is a lot of fun. And I did a review for Hand of Fate for the Xbox One. Hand of Fate, I believe, is also available for PS4 and the PC. Uh, Castle of the Darkness, I'm going backwards now, uh, is a retro-inspired, I'll say it, Metroidvania uh, action platformer uh, with some light RPG elements. Very fun game. Uh, it's one of the most fun games. One of, the, one of my favorite games of, of this year so far. And Hand of Fate... It's a game that mixes uh, a deck building system with actual real time third base action. So check those out. Um, yeah. Check out Scram Kitty DX as well. That's it. I'm out of here.